terms of influence in the policymaking process, uh, groups that have more money certainly have more influence. It's just the influence is not the type of corruption that we often imagine it to be. It's not, here's an envelope now, do my bidding for me. It's much more subtle than that, but groups who have more money certainly have more influence. There are some who would make the argument that there'd be a more even playing field for candidates um, if that type of uh, raising of, of large sums of money weren't possible. But the reality is is that the campaign finance system, um, there's a, a very common historical pattern where if you close one loophole to make it more difficult for money to get into the system, it finds its way in um, another way. At every point in history where we, we've tried to tighten controls on money in, in politics, um, people find loopholes, people find other ways to get in the system. We should have uh, transparency in our system, and we have totally lost that. And it's, it's, it's gone completely awry. I mean, if you just look at the bills that our legislators in Tallahassee introduced last year, you can tell it was because of all of corporate money that has been thrown in. You know, very little is being done to actually affect change within their districts. It's just a lot of special interest bills being introduced. As long as Washington is bought and paid for, we can't build an economy that works for people. I constantly try and remember that they are a public servant and that they try and go in with good intentions, but then they get wrapped up in a system that, you know, requires them to do these things. So I'm just trying to remove them out of that and just change the system completely. I want to change the system so that our politicians don't have to rely on their donors to campaign. I want them to rely on the voters. If I give you a campaign contribution, the expectation is, is that I'm going to have access to you. So when we talk about a democracy and the idea that someone represents the people and represents all of the people, really the delimiting effect of, of campaign contributions it runs contrary to that concept. We had a good uh, campaign uh, finance reform in, uh, in McCain-Feingold and uh, that was in fact uh, uh, ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in um, the Citizens United case. My view at this particular uh, stage is that this has gotten so lucrative for politicians that I don't think that anybody's got a conscience now large enough to be able to carry forward what McCain and Feingold carried forward. If, if campaign reform came around at the point where we were able to look at our election system and make some real common sense choices and changes about how we're going to elect our public officials, we'd go a long way to solving many of these problems.